Now the, the um show how much uh, uh McCain has um cared about the the veterans because see he don't he don't consider himself as uh disabled or anything like that. He he figure his he still see himself at twenty years old. And um he still wants to be president and he still wants to uh, his legacy uh, to have a a war and straighten everything out and be um, I don't shit I don't know just uh, congratulated like uh, Jim Tillman maybe and so they can collect money for him for for the rest of their life on uh, the McCain Foundation that that sounds smooth on it the McCain Foundation. You know, it sounds real, but McCain Foundation. You can get money for that for years. But uh, that man is uh, on his last leg. He's been on war. He's always been bent on war. And and uh, just like they know he's senile now to want to um, um, pardon a guy. You see how far that go? He said he wanted to pardon a guy a black guy um, that they put in jail. I've seen that, 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 that movie portrayed of him. He wants to pardon this guy and give, well, give him a pardon. The, the guy's dead. So what other uh, thing that, that, that y'all did to that guy are you going to pardon? It, it should be pardoning you, not him. But um, because uh, y'all are the uh, the catalyst for everything this this happening, the, the the slaves that y'all brought over that y'all don't need anymore, and then now now that they're over here, you wish they was gone and stuff, cause you you have to look at them every day. The um, the different organizations you stole land from, like the the Indians, and you proud to be American, ain't you? I don't see why I wouldn't be. But um, you um. You stole and manipulated and, and uh, on technicality stole land and stuff from the, the Indians and put them in a school and made them talk like you. Um, the the black guys uh, that walk around here in Phoenix, they walk around with no hope and no dreams. Black on black crime. Uh, you 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 um, you promoted that uh, your privatized prisons are your only source of income. And these fundraisers. Other than that, you have no income, no tourist trade, no reason why nobody would come here. I can go uh, a, a state over and have the same sun and not be bothered by fundraisers and, and um, bullshit to be going on. Y'all are surrounded by mountains, and that's as far as your newscast goes. On the lip of this mountain, all the way around. Nobody on the other side of the the mountains. Nobody even knows what's going on with Phoenix that that can um, that matters. So y'all are just a little circus big top. Uh, I don't know what happened to the Ringley Brothers, Barnum and Bailey people, but I I, I believe half of them are here or all of them, and um, y'all still trying to uh, run the big top, even the news. Uh, even not, they're not the news. They're Event pro uh, event announcers. All they do is announce fundraisings. Um, you can hardly find out who got killed. Maybe you find out one. Um, there are event announcers. They they um, they mooch off of a real news stations for some some um, news feeds. But but for the for the most part, any news place in any big city doesn't um, doesn't really um, consider them as news, a news station, a legitimate news station. How many people had um, a Pulitzer Prize here? None. None. Nobody here won a Pulitzer Prize for an a outstanding news um, story. Now that should tell you right there. Uh, from the the time the town was built, built until now, nobody won a Pulitzer Surprise for an honest, good story. 
That's sad. That is really sad. That shows you that this is not a legitimate news station. It is just the announcer, uh, a station that announces fundraisings and different other stuff for tourists to spend money. That's my opinion. And this is my video.